Well, we have to decide first what we mean by capitalism and what we mean by democracy. If we mean by democracy that uh, 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 citizens have a uh, uh, equal share in participating in determining decisions uh, that affect the society, then capitalism in any form is inconsistent with democracy because it uh, radically, uh, um, in most forms I should say, there is a form of capitalism which could be consistent with democracy. It's the kind that Adam Smith advocated. Uh, Ad Adam Smith was in favor of equality, equality of outcome. And in fact, one of his main arguments for markets is that under conditions of pure liberty, they will lead to equality. It's not a good argument, but uh, that was the argument. If that could happen, uh, which it can't, then you could say, yes, possibly it's consistent with democracy. Uh, otherwise, capitalism is in really, ex any form of really existing capitalism or that's likely to exist uh, will have sharp uh, inequalities. It's based on hierarchy, domination, uh, production for profit, uh, not need, uh, accumulation, accumulation of capital, uh, deprivation of others, uh, subordination of people who have to sell their labor in order to survive. And of course, that's going to translate automatically into any political arrangement, which will yield uh, one or another form of plutocracy. We happen to have a pretty extreme form right now. Uh, so, but, so, for example, right now in the United States, about roughly 70% of the population, lower 70% on the income scale, have no influence whatsoever on policy. Uh, influence increases slowly as you move up the scale. At the very top, the question doesn't arise because they set the policy. Uh, so that's, uh, it's, it's democracy in the sense you're allowed to push a button every couple of years. But it's a choice between uh, factions of a business party uh, with uh, extremely uh, an enormous disparity of uh, influence over policy. You can see that very clearly. Uh, you can see it just by, in fact, it's one of the main topics studied in professional political science. You just compare polling results on attitudes with policy. So, for example, uh, it's to pick one. Uh, for about 40 years now, there have been regular polls asking people uh, what do they think about a tax policy. And large majorities are in favor of much higher taxes on the rich and on the corporate uh, uh, system. Uh, policy goes the opposite direction. And uh, the same is true on minimum wage, on uh, uh, national health, uh, just about any topic you look at. There's a huge divergence. And uh, that simply reflects the uh, fact that uh, uh, capitalism in anything like the form we have, at least, uh, is inconsistent with democracy. And you can see why virtually any quasi-capitalist arrangement would have similar uh, problems. So the, pro uh, the conclusion is the opposite of what Friedman says. Of course, he m must mean something different by democracy. He may mean uh, the right to uh, push a button every four years, not to participate in the decision-making. <laughs>